Hola and welcome to Votaventura. It's a beautiful day, a little bit windy, but then it's always windy on this island. I've hired a scooter from the hotel next to mine for 30 euros and the plan is just to go and explore the island in my fetching helmet. Uh, I'm gonna go and see some sand dunes and some caves and some volcanoes and things like that. It's 100 kilometers or just over to the very north of the island and it should take about an hour and a half to get there, but yeah, I'm gonna stop along the way and see a few sights. So, Hope you enjoy the video and let's go! So I'm now at the very top of Fort Ventura in a place called Corajelo and they've closed the road to the sand dune uh, because there's a marathon going through at the moment but good, good news is that the last runner should be finished in about five to ten minutes so I'm gonna eat some food and then hopefully by the time I finish that I can carry on. So this is the last runner of the marathon so hopefully after she's gone past I can carry on. Just about to enter the sand dunes, Park Natural Dunas de Cogelo. And over there, over the sea, you've got Lanzarote, another small island in between. It's very windy on this island, you've got lots of kite surface in the distance. Let's go and check out these dunes. Here's my bike, look. Guzzles up petrol, I tell you. I had a bit of a hairy moment coming up here, but uh, luckily I found a petrol station just in time. Just gonna go and check out these jeans now. Maybe fly the drone. So these sand dunes are pretty amazing sand dunes in every direction and I'm the only person here all alone could be in the Sahara for all I know but yeah I was pretty lucky that uh, they reopened the road when they did had come any earlier I wouldn't have to get through because of the marathon I had my sandwich and by the time I'd finished that the last runner had gone past and I was able to get on the road and check out the dunes so very lucky Nice. Yeah, nice uphill. Yes. <laughs> so I'm currently about here on the map. I started down somewhere around here, a place called Esquenzo, and I rode all the way up through here, all the way to Corajelo. This is where the sand dunes were. And there's a pretty cool view from here. And I'm now going to head up there, I think where there's a statue of two men. I have no idea what it is or what it's about, but I'm sure I'll tell you more when I get up there. It's not so easy riding one-handed on these windy, steep roads. Hope there's no policemen about. Look at that. 
that for a view. What a road to drive on. Woo! Bit of a tight corner. Bit tricky with one hand. There's not many cars around though, so I think I can get away with it. Look at that for a view. And here's the two guys with the walking sticks. There's a board here for a little bit more information about it. Here you are, look. It's called Bataan Korea, historic capital of the Canary Islands. There you go. If you want to pause the video and read a little bit more information about it, there you go. I just tried to fly my drone, but it's so windy up here. It just went berserk. I was, got a bit scared, so I put it away. So you could just have to admire these guys from here. So this island's pretty good if you want to do some hiking trails or cycling or even bird watching. You've got Egyptian vultures here. That's what they look like. So for to swim across the ocean in that direction, you'd actually hit Morocco. So it'd be in Africa. And there's a place called Antigua just over there, which had a really cool volcano as I motorbiked or scooted past it. I wanted to fly my drone over it, but I think it's just a bit too risky of the wind. In fact, in Spanish, I think Puerto Ventura sort of translates as strong wind. So you can see why I uh, decided not to. Okay, I'm currently off now to the west coast to a place called Ahoy, I think it's called. Probably mispronounced that, so apologies. And hopefully there's some caves there to explore. And then I'm gonna head back over to the east coast where I believe there's a skeleton of a whale. I'll check out and then I'll head back to the hotel in Esquizo or Squenzo, or however you pronounce it, just before sunset. I was just driving towards Ahoy and uh, was attracted by this nice music and it looked really oldie worldy, nice traditional Spanish village. So I thought I'd come and check this out. Uh, here you go, look, there's a map of the village. Batan Korea. And there's a nice little church around here, little traditional shops. Really nice, worth coming if you've uh, got a car or can hire a bike. Oh, and it's Christmas by the way, hence all the uh, Christmas decorations. Seems a bit weird with it being like mid-twenties.
Oh, this is such a nice little town, really nice place if you want to come for a drink or a nice meal. I didn't realise that was actually a guy playing guitar and singing, it was amazing. I thought it was coming from like a CD or something, but he was playing some good music. Pink Floyd and a bit of Nirvana, so right up my street. So yeah, recommend coming here. Now off to the coast. This has been by far the most enjoyable road I've ridden yet on Fuerteventura. Really narrow, windy roads, lots of turns, lots of bends, really good fun. So yeah, if you hire a scooter, take this road, the road that leads down from uh, the village I was just at. Just stopped in another little town. Check this out, a 22 meter high embroidered Christmas tree with Christmas music to accompany it. How cool is that? Look. There you go, look for scale. Ah, oh, check out this Christmas display. Snowman. A teddy dressed as Santa. And uh, my favourite bit is this here, look. Santa riding a cool little red car with a duck on the front and some dude driving it. Santa on top. Quite random to see in the desert. 25 degree heat, but festive nonetheless. Welcome to Ahoy or Ajoy or Ahoy, however you pronounce it. Nice little uh, coastal town, little restaurants, and I believe there's some caves around the corner. Las Cuevas de Ajoy, this way. It's a cool setup. Next time I do one of these little two world adventures around an island, I won't be on a scooter, it will be on a Honda Africa Twin like this. How cool is that? But I don't think it will be, because that's probably a bit out of my price range. <laughs> Hello. It's a really pretty little village. Got a volcanic black sand beach. And around here is the caves. So this side of the island, the west coast, is a lot more wild. The sea's a lot more rufflet, and the landscape's a lot more rugged. Wow, pretty cool. So it looks like it goes pretty deep. 
There's the entrance, look. Actually sounds quite terrifying with the waves crashing behind me. Sounds like I'm gonna get trapped in here. But I think I'll be okay. Everyone else seems to be here. Goes pretty deep inside. The guys just run up there with a torch, but I'm not gonna go any further. So I'm running out of time. It's pretty scary with the noise of the waves. So unfortunately I don't have much time left to go and see the whale bones because as you can see the sun's setting but I've just stopped at this amazing viewpoint. Check out this view. Really good day today. I'm back at my hotel, the Jandia Princess. It's a sister hotel to where I rented the scooter, which is just over there. Little nativity here, look. I asked why there was no Jesus. They said, because Jesus was born on the 24th. And then they'll put Jesus there. I actually thought it was the 25th, but anyway, this is uh, my hotel. I'll give you a little tour. What I didn't tell you is that I actually came on holiday with my mum. So uh, I'm sure she's entertained herself today around by the pool and I'll go and introduce you to her. So there's the pool. Got a games room to the right. Restaurants and bars all over the shop. Pools all over the place. Yeah, it's a nice hotel, very lively. Lots of things to do, lots of things going on. But today, it's really good, I really recommend hiring a scooter. Um, it's really cheap, 30 euros, and it's a great way to see the island. And it's small enough to pretty much see it all. I mean, there's other things I would like to have seen, just didn't get around to doing it. But yeah, really good. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And this is my room. Got a little cat, hello. Not seen you before. 3302. Here we go. Hello. Hi. It's my mum. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> You've made it onto a video. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> you alright? Yeah, you're back safe and sound. Yeah, made it. Good. This is my bed. Mum's bed. And there's a cat. Where's my cat from? <laughs> Just uh, wanted to come and check out the room. This is the balcony. Hello. Yeah, I suppose this is a good place to end my video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.